What you do in the dark always comes to the light. Always comes to the light. We're going to talk about cleaning up this shit in Baltimore. The politics in Baltimore. Y'all locked me up in 2007 because I blew the whistle on this shit. I blew the whistle on this shit. These shitty politicians. Call it potty training politicians and people pay attention. People pay attention to dumb ass shit. I put toilets in front of the Towson Courthouse because it represented how you treat black Baltimore County. You treat Baltimore County like shit. Y'all like black Baltimore County residents because they give you money. They spend a lot of money in Baltimore County, but we don't have no rights. So 2020, we're going to shine the light on this shit. We're going to tell the truth and shame the devil. We're going to clean up this corruption and this racism. Y'all running for office? I'm going to run my mouth. I'm not only going to run my mouth. I got people behind me. Just because you see me alone don't mean I'm alone. Yeah. What you do in the dark always comes to the light. I'm finished with this. This year, I'm finished with this. I go to see Culpepper today, the House Judiciary Chairman, and this is my presentation for the House Judiciary Chairman. I was innocent of all charges. I was kidnapped by the state of Maryland for making a documentary about your politics, the Democratic Party, stop and frisk zero tolerance. Yeah. I was making a movie about Governor O'Malley and his mom machine. Sheila Dixon, know about it. Man, Quasi and Fume, this is about your politics and the, your elections. Y'all only come see us every four years. Dog, I'm going to see this movie. Gonna, everybody going to see this movie. Ain't no law against making a movie. It's a law against kidnapping. It's a law against theft of property. It's a law against telling the... It's a defamation of character, libelous statements. So let's go like this. I don't want nobody saying they left out the loop. We're going to clean this shit up. Tell a branch been knowing about this for the longest. Tell a branch know about it, T.J. Smith, and the Rue. Not the Rue is a plant from Fox 45. They just want this brown man in here. They brought brown money in here, a lot of money. And I'm going to ask the Board of Elections to start following that money. The corruption, yeah. I know how you got your money through. I'm a cater. I work for y'all. T.J. Smith been knowing about this from day one. Everything I'm getting ready to show you, T.J. Smith seen it. I gave T.J. Smith a deck of cards. This is the deck of cards for my mama in Las Vegas, Nevada, because y'all kidnapped me from my family. So I'm going to pull your card, 2020. I'm getting ready to do uh, toilet paper. Like they made chips, the rapper's chips. I'm going to make toilet paper, political toilet paper. I'm going to be shitting on y'all. Not just now, your careers. I'm getting ready to market this, trade market. It's the art of getting money. And y'all made me famous for toilets, and I'm going to run with that shit. Toilets and toilet paper. I can sell that shit for the rest of my life. How much for the little doggy in the window? Well, Governor Hogan gave me that. And this movie all about Governor Hogan and the role that he plays in this, too. Yeah, I come to Annapolis. Yeah. I'm getting ready to shit on y'all. It's my political soapbox. And y'all voted for this shit. Like I said, I'm going to pull your card. That's BOPA, Office of Arts and Promotion. Y'all got a... Y'all got a tip y'all getting ready to get in movie industries. Well, y'all owe me $2.6 million. That $2.6 million will pay for my movie. That $2.6 million will pay for a lot of my movies. I was kidnapped by the state, so I'm going to sue you for my property. It's the art of getting money. Y'all came in my house and put guns in my head in 2010. Harrison ain't said nothing about it. Davis ain't said nothing about it. Bats ain't said nothing about it. Yeah. I filed the charges and y'all didn't do nothing about it. But y'all didn't have a problem filing charges against me and calling me a terrorist. Convicts, lawyers call confessions coerced. Yeah, we getting ready to file a class action lawsuit against the state of Maryland. Scott Schellenberger, Marilyn Mosby, for like 10,000 cases that y'all got. You're going to have to reverse and remand them because you locked up a whistleblower. And everything is in this case right here. It's on video. I got it documented. I can show you where the perjury happened. I can break you down completely. And that's going to really hurt your feelings. I'm just using the Constitution. Freedom of speech. At the conclusion of a trial, if the defendant is found innocent, all property is supposed to be returned to the defendant. 
If they destroy the property, then the state has had to compensate me for my losses. I'm out $2.6 million in lost wages. I'm out of 1999 Chevy Suburban. The contents of the truck was worth $130 million. I had 13 movies. I had movies all about you. So I'm getting ready to sell these movies to Netflix, Hula, whoever want to buy it. Baltimore, Rewired. Baltimore, Rewired. We're going to show you about the criminalization of poverty and the militarization of your police. We're going to show you the new face of old Jim Crow. Yeah. We're going to give you the narrative life of a slave, Frederick Douglass. Slavery reinvented under the, constant, under the 13th Amendment. Y'all talk about Rikers Island? Well, we're going to talk about Baltimore County. And we're going to talk about you. We're going to talk about Bobby Zirkin. We're going to talk about WBAL. And we're going to talk about what I bring to Baltimore. Like I said, Office of Arts and Promotion. This movie's all about Baltimore. It's about activism in Baltimore. It's about my activism in Baltimore and my commitment to the community in Baltimore. What I have to offer. What I have to offer. This is who I am. All right. Now that's TJ Smith. So TJ Smith can't say he ain't got this. That's T.J. Smith. We talk about ceasefire. You, you want to ceasefire, you got to talk about ending the war on drugs. If not, y'all just bullshitting. Y'all getting paid to keep this shit going. I ain't heard ceasefire say end the war on drugs. I ain't heard ceasefire say nothing. But ceasefire keep getting paid. That's Mosby. That's Schellenberger. And that's what y'all locked me up for. That toilet. And it clearly says it's evidence and artwork. That's Rob Fix. Me and Rob Fix fell out. We do not have anything to do with each other anymore. But everything that Rob Fix got is evidence against Scott Schellenberger. It's evidence for a movie. Yeah. That's Todd Oppenheimer from Equal Justice. That's Governor Hogan. That's Judge Turnbull. That's Al Redmer. I had to reshoot all the footage that y'all stole from me. Because like I said, I started this in 2006, the Get Shorty program. All right. And it was against the police. It was about policing the police. I'm a champion for justice. I'm a champion for my community. I fight back. It's 2006, 14. That's my Department of Justice number. Federal ID number. I'm a member of Out for Justice. Now the ACLU been knowing about this since the beginning. The ACLU, the NAACP, and the ACLU participated in this corruption. The ACLU participated in this. Governor Hogan got this. So we want the Governor Hogan to turn over everything he got. The ACLU to turn everything he got. Because the Department of Justice is supposed to investigate this. You see that? I'm writing a reference to Dwayne Shorty Davis. I met Mr. Davis on several occasions. Johnny Oleski asked the Department of Justice to investigate my incarceration. When they investigate my incarceration, they're going to come across you. They're going to see how long the ACLU been shielding this. They're going to see how much money Governor Hogan been making off of this. Because like I said, I got a vested interest in this. See the date? Long before I got locked up. We talking about the murder and the death of our kids. We not supposed to bury our kids. Our kids supposed to bury us. So this is dedicated to Jarrell New Ray Davis. So Governor Hogan, do your job or lose your job, cause this is from 2019. This is 2020. Black Lives Matter. Like I said, I was making a movie. That's Rob Fix. That's my producer. And that's Chief Justice of the Rock, Chief Justice Roberts of the Supreme Court. Yeah, I told y'all about this. I was making a movie about y'all. NAACP, ACLU, y'all got this. ACLU make a lot of money off of black bodies. ACLU is the new face of old Jim Crow. ACLU and NAACP. So remember this, 
Ain't no law against making a movie. Ain't no law against shitting on you. It's the art of getting money. And I'm going to make money off of toilet paper, toilets, and shitting on politicians. Same thing make you laugh, make you cry. I be in Annapolis today. And I'm bringing all this shit with me. I'm out $2.6 million. By the end of session, I want my money. I'm out $130 million in movies. We got 13 movies y'all made. So I got to reshoot all that shit. Like I said, I'm sending this to Netflix, Hula, Apple TV, whoever want to buy it. Baltimore, rewired. My next 20 years is going to be making films. I'm going to be the new Spike Lee in Baltimore. 